हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टुडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम इन इंटीग्रेशन राइट सो हियर विल डिस्कस द मेथड हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट द ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन सो हियर वी हैव अ डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम वन टू टू एंड ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन फोर एक्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड इट्स value right so let us uh, discuss uh, how we can uh, evaluate this integral now uh, let us uh, denote this uh, uh, definite integral by the letter i right so here we see that the lower limit is 1 and the upper limit is 2 right so uh, the function f of x Uh, which is to be uh, integrated is given by the greatest integer function uh, 4x right now here we see that uh, the limits are from 1 to 2 and uh, we can write uh, x belongs to the interval 1 to 2 right because the lower limit is 1 and the upper limit is 2 so x belongs to the interval 1 comma 2 now see uh, this is 4x so 4x uh, belongs to the interval if we multiply this 1 by 4 then we have 4 and uh, 4 to the 8 right so we see that uh, x belongs to the interval 1 comma 2 and 4x belongs to the interval uh, 4 comma 8 right now uh, let us uh, write this uh, uh, greatest integer uh, function which is 4x uh, in terms of intervals right now let us uh, express this greatest integer function 4x uh, as a piecewise function right so here we see that uh, this 4x belongs to the Uh, interval 4 comma 8 and we see that uh, between 4 and 8 uh, we have the uh, in the integral values are uh, here we have 5 here we have 6 and here we have 7 right so between 4 and 8 we have 5 6 and 7 right so let us uh, express now uh, this greatest integer function 4x uh, as a piecewise function now when this uh, 4x right when this 4x this 4x uh, it lies between uh, 4 and 5 it means uh, if i write 4x uh, is greater than or equal to 4 but less than 5 right when this 4x it lies between uh, 4 and Uh, five, then the value of uh, this uh, greatest integer function 4x is 4, right? Due to the definition of uh, greatest integer function, right? Now, when uh, 4x lies between 5 and 6, right? 5 and 6. So we write here uh, 4x lies between 5 and 6 then the value of this greatest integer function 4x is 5 right okay now when 4x lies between 6 and 7 that is 4x lies between 6 and 7 then the value of this greatest integer function 4x is equal to 6 right and when this 4x lies between 7 and 8 right that is when 4x lies between 7 and 8 then the value of this greatest integer function 4x is 7 right so this is how uh, we uh, express uh, this function f of x is equal to uh, greatest integer function 4x as a piecewise 
function right so when 4x lies between 4 and 5 then the value of uh, this function f of x is equal to 4 when it lies between 5 and 6 the value is 5 when it lies between 6 and 7 the value of f of x is 6 and when it lies between 7 and 8 the value of f is 7. Now uh, let us express these intervals in the form uh, here we have 4x is greater than or equal to 4 but less than 5 so if we divide this uh, uh, inequality uh, throughout by 4 then we'll get uh, 1 uh, is less than or equal to x and less than uh, 5 by 4 right similarly if we divide this inequality by 4 then we'll get uh, 5 by 4 is less than or equal to x and uh, less than 6 by 4 right similarly here if we divide throughout by 4 then we have uh, 6 by 4 uh, less than or equal to x and less than uh, 7 by 4 right and here if we divide uh, throughout by 4 uh, then we have 7 by 4 and less than or equal to x and uh, less than 8 by 4 right so here uh, we have now expressed uh, the interval 1 comma 2 right we have the interval 1 comma 2 that is the limits are from 1 to 2 and here we have 1 and here we have 8 by 4 that is equal to 2 right so we have uh, uh, have uh, we have splitted this interval uh, 1 comma 2 uh, into uh, the four intervals right see from 1 to 5 by 4 1 to 5 by 4 then we have uh, 5 by 4 to 6 by 4 then we have 6 by 4 to 7 by 4 and then we have 7 by 4 to 8 by 4 that is equal to 2 right so we have these four uh, intervals in which we have to uh, uh, find the integral of uh, uh, this function uh, greatest integer function 4x so now we have uh, uh, concluded that uh, for this uh, interval 1 to 5 by 4 uh, we have the integral from 1 to 4 5 by 4 right from 1 to 5 by 4 and here we have 4x dx right then we have the integral from 4 by 5 to 6 by 4 and 4x dx right for this interval we have the integral from 6 by 4 to 7 by 4 and greatest integer function 4x and finally for this interval we have the integral from 7 by 4 to 8 by 4 and here we have the greatest integer function 4x right so this integral i this integral i is now uh, we have uh, splitted this integral i into four integrals this one is i1 this is i2 this is i3 and this is i4 right so we have i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 and now uh, we'll calculate the value of these four integrals so now uh, this integral uh, i is the sum of these uh, four integrals right so now from uh, 1 to 5 by 4 that is from uh, this interval from 1 to 5 by 4 the value of uh, this function is 4 so here uh, we'll write 4 so we have uh, the integral from 1 to 5 by 4 and here we have 1 dx right now in the next integral we have the 
limits from 5 by 4 to 6 by 4 and for this the value of the function is 5 right so we'll have 5 by 4 to 6 by 4 and here we have uh, sorry here we have 4 and here we have 5 right so 5 dx and then for this integral from 6 by 4 to 7 by 4 uh, from 6 by 4 to 7 divided by 4 uh, we have the value of the function as 6 so here we have 6 right and dx and for the last integral uh, we have from 7 by 4 to 8 by 4 and from 7 by 4 to 8 by 4 we have the value of the function as 7 so here we have a 7 so this is 7 dx now the value of this integral uh, is very simple so we have uh, 4 uh, outside this integral and we have from 1 to 5 by 4 uh, dx then we have 5 uh, from 5 by 4 to 6 by 4 dx similarly here we have 6 and the integral is from 6 by 4 to 7 by 4 uh, dx and then we have 7 and 7 by 4 to 8 by 4 dx right now the integral of dx is x so we have here x and the limits are from 1 to 5 by 4 and here we have 5 then the integral of uh, dx is simply x we have the limits 5 by 4 to 6 by 4 and then we have 6 here and the integral is uh, integral of dx is x so we have the limit 6 by 4 to 7 by 4 and then we have 7 and the integral of uh, this dx or 1 dx is x and the limits are from 7 by 4 to 8 by 4 right so now we can uh, easily uh, calculate the value of this expression so we have 4 then we have the difference of uh, these two limits that is 5 by 4 minus 1 plus uh, 5 then we have 6 by 4 minus 5 by 4 and then we have 6 and the difference of 7 by 4 minus 6 by 4 and then we have 7 and the difference of 8 by 4 minus 7 by 4 right so now if we calculate this uh, we will have uh, 4 times uh, 5 by 4 minus 1 is uh, 1 by 4 then we have 5 times 1 by 4 6 times 1 by 4 and 7 times 1 by 4 right so this is 7 times 1 by 4 and if we add uh, all these four uh, fractions then we'll have 4 plus 5 9 plus 6 15 plus 7 that is 22 by 4 this is 11 by 2 right so the value of this integral is 11 over 2